All right, getting now the heart of the car, the very heart of the car, this is our well-known 12-cylinder power unit. The basic engine as such is the same as our conventional 12-cylinder on the conventional 7 series. The cylinder head and the fuel supply system of course are different because here we are running in the dual mode, uh, under the dual mode philosophy, with supply, well, supply not just of gasoline but also of hydrogen to the engine. Engine capacity is 6 litres. Maximum output, as you can see, is 191 kilowatt or 260 horsepower. Uh, 260 horsepower at 5,100 RPM and maximum torque is 390 newton meters. I've already mentioned that when running on hydrogen, we have external fuel mixture generation. It's drawn in from outside. And with conventional fuel, petrol, we have direct fuel injection into the combustion chamber. Now let me comment briefly on the combustion process as such. You see a chart here where we see NOx emissions shown in the curve in the middle, and on the bottom you see the air ratio, that is the ratio, or the lambda ratio, the ratio between air and fuel. Lambda 1 is stoichiometric, stoichiometric combustion, meaning without any excess or undersupply of oxygen. So it's the neutral point in the middle. Quite generally, we have two uh, areas which we run or may run an engine. Further, first of all, the over stoichiometric range with a uh, an ex excess amount of fuel, and then under stoichiometric with a minimum or uh, lower amount of fuel. Uh, when we have a high amount of fuel, as shown in the middle, a high amount of emissions, we use a catalytic converter to clean the engine, or to clean the fuel rather, the emissions, and um, we also use the catalytic converter in the first range, where it's marked by the red arrow, uh, so that it's kept clean here, the engine's kept clean, and then further down the grey zone we have no emissions either, so that we run the engine either in the white range or in the grey range, avoiding the pink range, the brown range in the middle. So the trick we do is, again, to avoid emissions, which basically accumulate only in this middle, the centre area, and the trick we apply here is to suppress this operating mode by the engine management. We can measure the lambda ratio, you see, and the minute we move up to about lambda 1, the engine will skip this range, it'll move on to 2, lambda 2, or a lot over 2, a lot more than 2, which immediately gives us lean burn combustion. We have lean burn combustion when we don't need any extra power from the vehicle, from the engine, and we have the higher rich fuel air mixture on the left-hand side when accelerating or when driving all out. And it's in these areas where we have lambda of less than one, and where we're running again on a rich fuel air mixture with NOx emissions. It's in these areas that we use a three-way catalytic converter, so that here too, that is the first white area with the green mark, we have virtually no emissions no CO2 emissions. And that means that we are able to comply both with the European standards, EU4, and the Canadian standards, ULF2 or FTP75. In fact, I'd like to refer immediately to the right-hand side of this overhead, where you should check out NOx, shown in blue, because with the dual-mode cars, able to run on gasoline and hydrogen, we have just 30% of the threshold set by the standard. In other words, we're just 30% of 0.02. We have just 30% of what is demanded even by the strictest standard worldwide. And we have further units in production or in development, further cars in production, running able to run on just one mode. In other words, there's no conventional fuel on these cars. We have no evaporation problems, meaning that uh, combustion of evaporation from or evaporation from normal uh, operation of the car and gasoline will not affect us at all. And here we were able to reduce our, exempt, our emissions to about 10% of 002, 0.02 grams per mile, which means it's virtually zero. We have virtually a zero emission vehicle in this case.